Yo, what's good, YouTube? In today's video, we're taking a look at the Max Damage M4. The M4, in my opinion, is a little bit slept on, and you can definitely build it out to be really effective. But as always, man, I got y'all with two high kill gameplays totaling over 80 kills that y'all are gonna love. If you guys enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe, notifications turned on, and let's hop into it. All right, let's get in here and break it all down for you guys and build this M4. So I have a couple different builds that I was running, and I'll use one per gameplay. So I wanna show you guys both of those builds. They're actually pretty similar, but we'll go ahead and break it down for you. So First thing in the muzzle is going to be a compensator because we're not going to use a regular suppressor. We're actually going to go, that's actually pretty good. I landed on the Jack BFB. So the M4, for anyone that, you know, uses this gun, knows that it's got some pretty wacky, you know, visual recoil. A lot of those MW2 guns had some crazy visual recoil, a little bit of bounce, and the M4 is no stranger to that. It's It's got a pretty decent bit. It's not like a, a true long range gun because you really can't hit shots at super long range because the recoil. But we have the Jack BFB here, which really helps us out there over overall recoil control capabilities giving us that plus 60 percent you know recoil control benefit which really helps out this gun quite you know a bit so we're definitely gonna throw that on there now we're gonna go up here to the barrel section and we're gonna throw on the very first one we got in here which is the high tower 20 barrel so the high tower gives us that increase in bullet velocity and range recoil control and hit fire accuracy this is pretty much the best barrel you guys got in here there's no reason for you to run absolutely anything else genuinely don't run a single other barrel you only want to go for that high tower when you break it all down here it gives you pretty like a plus 20 percent increase to your uh your effective damage range and your minimum of course and increase your bullet velocity almost uh, 20 percent as well bringing us up to that 850 meters per second which is really solid and also helps out controlling the gun a little bit more you lose a little bit of that mobility but it's not something we're too worried about so we got that on there now we're gonna go down to the underbrow section. We're gonna throw on one of my favorite underbrails right here, and that's gonna be the Bruin Heavy Support Grips. So this helps us with our overall gun kit control, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil control, and firing aiming stability. You lose a tad bit on that uh, vertical, but it's not something we're too worried about because we have that Jack BFB. When you break it all down here, it's only like 4% is what you get on the vertical. So it's not really something we have to worry about at all, but we have that on there as our next attachment. Of course, we go down and throw in a magazine. This is kind of non-negotiable. I'm a 60 round mag kind of guy, so I'm throwing on that 60. But even then, even if you weren't a 60 round person, you're gonna have to throw that on here. Um, it makes all the difference in the world to throw on a 60 as opposed to the 45. 45, it gets you a little bit more mobility, but that's definitely not something you wanna sacrifice the 50 rounds of the mag for. Definitely not worth it. So this is where our last attachment kind of switches up. So we're gonna go on and throw an optic because I use an optic in one of my gameplays, and that's gonna be the NIDAR model 2023. Like I said, I don't believe the M4 is a true long range gun. It's like that mediumish range AR. That's great for like resurgence. If you're playing big map BR, you can definitely still use it, but I'm saying for, you know, you're playing the, you know, Vondel, you're playing a Sheikah Island, and of course, fortunes keep coming up here in season two. Uh, you guys are gonna be able to use this. I mean, the NIDAR model works great. You can throw on the MK3 reflector. You can throw on like an AMOP V4, an SC recharge. If you wanna go down that route, but I don't really think you need that Choreo Eagle Eye. It's not gonna be effective outside of that 2.5X range. So I'd say throw on like the NIDAR model 2023. And you guys can run it exactly like this, or, and take that off. And what I did for my other gameplay, as I went down here, I never ran the Sokken ZX grip to help me with that recoil control a little bit more so, because I, I was running into a few people where I was like, you know, the gun was bounced around a little bit too much. I was like, you know, we're gonna go straight for those iron sights, get rid of the optic, we're gonna use the iron sights, and we're gonna stabilize this thing out a little bit more. And the Sokken ZX grip made all the difference in the world for me. So I dropped my most kills actually with this attachment, not the uh, red dot on there. So that's my full build right there. And I'll show you guys here also, I was running the uh, HRM9 is my secondary. We have the stim shot for my tactical, the lethal, my throwing knife, and my perk package here of a slate of hand, a double time, quick fix, and flex. Definitely my go-to perk package. You guys always want to run this one. It's a great one to be able to run. Um, you can switch out maybe slate of hand for something like Bounceneer, but otherwise, I don't really think you need to switch out anything. Uh, you can pick up a tempered vest off the ground and flex makes you just hear people a little bit easier anyways that's my full build though hope you guys enjoy like i said i got two fire high kill gameplays dropping a 40 plus kill game and a 30 plus kill game totaling over 80 kills see you guys later i didn't want to do that oh my god how on earth did I just survive this? I was expecting to be chalked. Well, enemies dropping into 
Rear. Hell no. Yeah, see, I'm kind of excited to meet you. Hold up, I'm coming for you just for a quick sec, fellas. Just for a quick sec. Alright. Target area marked, you're cleared high. Copy that. Phoenix 23 is on station. Track in now. I ain't getting no one up here at that. Are we for real? Oh, wait, oh, a swarm? Yep, that's what's up right there. Actually, that's more what's up. Oh, appreciate that. I stopped shooting. Yeah, these guys are going absolutely nuts in here. And over at a cop, by the sounds of it. Mark remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. At least that's gone. Tempered vest? Yep, don't mind if I do. All right. Oh, that is a bomb drone. Have fun. See you later. His ass was all the way up here with that. Felt satisfying to get that kill. I'm hearing people. We just like dip or something? Went down below? What's going on? Kill confirmed. We located the rest of them. So thank God I found someone. Damn. Let's go! Marking the rest of that squad on your tack map. Go get hunting. M4 is hitting right there. Y'all y'all got any good free stuff over here? Not really. One sec, I gotta... Uh, I was to say, please don't have the angle to see me. Use your attack map 
have to hunt down the rest of them. A bass B? Yeah, that is not an SMG you want to get caught with, fella. Nope. Kind of terrorizing over here just a little bit. We got... Who just spotted me? Oh, we got some fellas up top. And down below. Mainly up top. Enemy soldier incoming. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your tack map. I sometimes wonder how often do people actually Fire sale active. Buy station prices have been reduced. Kill confirmed. We located the rest of for him. Enemy destroyed. You should have to hunt down the How often do people actually look at their radar to see the fact that I'm like a triangular ping? Cuz I have the jack BFB on this thing. Hey, peace out, bye. What in the hell? Resurgence window is ending. Watch your six. Marked remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Hey, you want to chase me, Nicky? Come on. Yep. Good kill. Didn't work out too well before you did it. Get Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Target down. Marking the rest of them. Solid work so far. Alright, so there's a decent amount of people over here still. We gotta rotate in. Be advised, UAV is exiting the AO. Kill confirmed and we located the rest of them. I'm below. What are we doing? What are we doing, big fella? Let me get up here and grab to smoke real fast. Nope. I swear to God, I, some people get like the accidental dive and I'm like, bro, I can't even dive when I want to. We're hiding. All right, so where are we hiding? In a room? Yeah. 
Pitiful. Wait, he's not. I swear to God, I did fry both those fellas. I, I swear I felt like it. I'm just going to deploy that because there's no point for me not to. All right, this precision hits me, game's rigged. There's still someone else. I swear to God, I hear someone else, eh? This is a very bad idea. That's a horrible idea for me to mess with those guys. No. I'm not going to make it, dude. I'm not going to make it. What? No. How did I survive that long? How? 44. We'll take that. That was a little too close for comfort dropping in. God, I almost would rather have Enemies that tier, uh, the tier the than the an MTZ. Have the, the 762 is gas. The 556, on the other hand, not as much. I got a lot of fellas probably coming after me for that one. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I thought people were going to be like straight up on my ass right there. No. And we were having some fun in the corner here. Um, man, why does no one got a striker nine or something on him? That's just depressing. <sighs> My stupid ass bought that.
What's going on, big fella? We're not coming for me? Oh, damn. I hear a riveter. Thank you. Enemy soldier incoming. We're detecting vulnerability in the enemy's network. Locate their uplink stations to secure their intel before they go offline. Yep. Target area marked. You're cleared hot. All right. Please don't be too close for me, please. Got a loadout drop inbound. No hits on that round. All right, that was successful. Enemy destroyed. Use your tack map to hunt down the rest of them. I love this HRM. Ah. Mark remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. It is just so good. I love it. Love because I can use the iron sights and everything on it. I think it's one downside of the AMR. Target down. Marking the rest of them. Hello? Thank you. Finally baited that fellow enough. See, they're, they're having a ball over here. Enemy UAV overhead. Target down. Marking the rest of them. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad. We love AFKs. Map. Free. Is this all one team or no? Kill confirmed. We located the rest of them. Hey, Use your tack map to hunt down the rest of them. It's definitely one v two v whatever. Don't know. Shocked for you there, buddy. I swear to God, I can never jump and like dive off anything in this game. Got beamed. Fire sales over. Adjusting price. Lost remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. They made them firm and we located the rest of them. That's quick little three. Target quick three. Down. Marking the rest of them. Quick little mix triple. Give me all that. Appreciate it. Didn't work. All right, fellas. All right, all right. I'm um, actually we'll take that. Destroy. 
destroyed. Use your tack map to hunt down the rest of them. Mark remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Just try and farm out as much of that as possible. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Resurgence has closed. No more second chance. Wait, 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 wait. There's someone there. No shot, right? Hell no. That is the most demonic place you could have said. I kind of respect that though. Low key, high key. All right, you got a little bit of, yeah, I need some cash on you. I just got WA 2000. That never in my life has that happened on Warzone. 